Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Ralph. Let's say I'm Ralph. Yeah. Okay, I'm Ralph, and and this is my review of Resident Evil Village. I, I guess this is the latest in a series of Resident Evil games. I haven't played a lot of the others. I don't know if I should have or if it helps you understand the story. The visuals are pretty amazing. It's really scary stuff. Like, like legit scary. And I'll tell you, I've seen some weird shit. After I got back from the war, they said I couldn't talk about my life anymore. It didn't belong to me. My life was not my own. My experiences had been deemed top secret and of national security by my own government. I was 20 years old when I signed up. I knew less than nothing about how the world worked. How the world really worked. Wheels within wheels. I was two weeks in country when I got taken captive while on a patrol. I was the only one they didn't kill. The people who took me were mostly locals, but there were a few foreigners as well. A wild-eyed Welshman who kept babbling incoherent nonsense. They brought me through a series of caves. We were walking for what felt like weeks. Months. I lost track of time. Never saw the sun or even the sky. I wondered if they could have been walking me in circles, but I never saw the same rocks twice. They took me to a place where flesh was growing out of the earth. Muscle tissue coated in thick layers of skin, rising up from the earth like bread in the oven. We'd exited a long, throaty tunnel and come out in a sort of clearing by a little waterfall. There were large patches of the meat stuff growing everywhere, swirled in different shades and speckled with freckles and moles. In places, it had been bleeding, perhaps scratched at by animals, and the wounds had scabbed over, the scabs themselves as thick as dinner plates. You could tell these freaks, the ones who'd taken me, they were worshipping the stuff like crazy. We were deep in the woods, deep in the jungle, far off from any real traces of civilization. Some of them were praying to the meat, washing it and whispering to it. A few wanted to try eating it. I could sense the disparity amongst the group was driving a wedge between them. I wondered if I could work it to my advantage. I remember looking back at the cave we'd exited. The sun was hurting my eyes so bad I thought I was going blind, but as I squinted through my fingers I could see a ring of irregular teeth, some tiny like little baby teeth, others as large as whole skulls, all strung out in a ring around the cave mouth we'd come through. It was like something was trying to grow a body but didn't know how, so it was faking it, like a child's drawing come to life living nightmares. For a while I assumed they were drugging me. It was only on my second day there that I came to accept that it was all real. It was all happening. I tried to convince myself that I was dreaming or preferably dead. I wound up bashing my left hand bloody on a large piece of gray rock next to a long patch of fuzzy white skin which looked like an old man's belly, distended and then pulled taut. One moment I was watching the meat growing in the dappled sunlight that came filtered through the jungle canopy, and then suddenly I was screaming and waving my hands around like I was being attacked by invisible enemies. I don't even remember what set me off, but I remember when I hit the rock. There's a nice big scar running up the length of my little finger. Still aches sometimes, and Lord knows my typing speed isn't what it was. There were a few types of root vegetables growing around the area, and that's what we all lived on. Nobody hunted, and they barely even cooked. It all tasted disgusting, but it kept you alive. I'd been there for a few weeks when I overheard the telltale approach of jets. 
I took cover in the cave just in time to see the whole clearing in the valley beyond go up in smoke. Somebody had napalmed the shit out of the whole region. I survived. Once again, nobody else did. While I was hiding inside it, the cave was burning and making this sound. I think it was trying to scream. The sound was like somebody took a moan and stretched it out so long it became a whole other sound. I still hear it sometimes, right before I wake up. Outside the cave, everything had been burnt to ruins. The air smelled like bacon, frying in the pan. After a few hours, I stumbled through the ashes and out into the woods beyond. I don't know how long I was gone after that, but I'm told I was half dead when some marine recon team found me. They got me back, got me patched up. Before long, I was sent home. I told a shrink about what happened to me. Military shrink. I wound up in one of those dark rooms you hear about, explaining myself to a bunch of shadowy figures I couldn't quite make out. They listened to all that I had to say and then told me that if I ever spoke on any of it in public, nobody would believe me, and then they'd have me bumped off. So, now I just sit at home. I try to sleep. And I play video games. This Resident Evil thing, it was okay, I guess. I don't know, 7 out of 10.